Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to another week here in drone land. We have three stories for you this week, and I will jump right in. Market research firm Drone Industry Insights released a report on the state of drone industry jobs around the world. This research was gathered in April and May of this year, 2022, so pretty recent. Okay, so what did they learn? What's in this report? A couple of highlights. Uh, first, while the majority of open drone industry positions were found here in the United States, you can see there's quite a bit of activity in other countries like Germany, India, Australia, Switzerland, uh, and a few more. It's also interesting to see the breakdown in types of jobs like software engineering and uh, marketing and sales. Second, we are seeing an increase in jobs over the last few years at drone service companies. Reading between the lines a bit, but would like to think a lot of these jobs are actual drone pilot jobs because that's what drone service companies do. They go out there and fly and capture the media or data for their clients. So four years ago, only 19% of the available jobs were at drone service companies. This year, it's 37%, so a pretty big jump. Those were two things I wanted to call out. I think the key takeaway from this report is that drone jobs are definitely out there. Uh, and the need for drone pilots and drone industry professionals, just if you're interested in the drone industry, that need continues to grow. Check out the link below to read the full report. Next up, Zipline becomes the fourth company to get a Part 135 certificate from the FAA. What the heck is a Part 135 certificate? This represents an existing set of rules that govern air delivery of mail or other goods being transported by air. And in this case, the FAA is modifying the Part 135 certification process to accommodate drone delivery beyond visual line of sight. And as you can imagine, there are multiple requirements when it comes to getting approved. Uh, aircraft certification, submission of operations manuals, insurance, maintenance standards. There's a very good reason only three other companies have been able to work with the FAA to get approved. Now, Zipline is a global leader in instant logistics. They specialize in autonomous medical deliveries all over the world. In the West African country of Ghana, uh, just in Ghana, they've flown over 13 million miles and have delivered over 5 million vaccines, which is truly astonishing. With its new Part 135 certificate, Zipline will bring its delivery operations to the U.S. Uh, initial flights will operate out of their hub in Kannapolis, North Carolina. According to the company, they plan to, and I quote, launch the longest range and most complex commercial drone delivery operations in the U.S. Wing, Flight Forward, and Amazon Prime Air are the other three companies that hold Part 135 certificates. Uh, and companies like Flytrex and uh, DroneUp slash Walmart are doing deliveries line of sight under the Part 107 rules for now. Zipline has definitely proved themselves as a strong leader in drone delivery. We are so excited to see them expand operations here in the U.S. Lastly, imagine a not too distant future where you're flying in a drone taxi uh, to commute on your way to work in the morning. Well, there's a company named Jetson that has just completed what they're calling the world's first electric vertical takeoff and landing or eVTOL commute. Their aircraft named One sort of looks like a cross between a race car and a drone. Uh, it has a flight time of 20 minutes, uh, uses LIDAR sensors to ensure obstacle avoidance, and has a payload capacity of 210 pounds. Tomas Baton is the co-founder of Jetson and inventor of the One aircraft. And in their testing, they report that using this drone to travel to work instead of a car, ding, 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 cuts the commute time by quite a bit of time. <laughs> Jetson plans to deliver 12 of these drones in 2022 at a cost of $92,000 per aircraft. Half of those drones will be shipped to the U.S. Uh, on their website, you can actually see their entire production schedule through 2023. Very transparent of them. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links in the description below uh, to read more information. Thanks so much. And as always, to all of you drone pilots out there, wishing you blue skies and safe flying.